Okay, in this video I want to start talking about standard normal distributions. And the idea is, if you have a, um, a distribution that's normal with a mean of mu and a, uh, a, a deviation of, of sigma, the idea is what we can do is we can turn this back into a standard normal um, distribution and then read off values from our, our table. And this is a table I just found on the internet and was able to print it off. Any statistics book will have them, or you can also just uh, search for normal distribution tables online and you can bring some up. So the idea is the standard normal distribution is the normal distribution with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. The idea is if we have a new variable x with a, um, with a mean that's normally distributed with a mean of mu and a deviation, a standard deviation of sigma, the standardized variable z equals x minus mu divided by sigma has the standard normal distribution. So again, it's just, the, it's just a way to turn a, a distribution with a different, you know, a, a normal distribution that doesn't have a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one we can transform it back into one, and then we can read off the table, the, the values from the table. So let's look at a, a quick example, and we'll do a few of these. Um, okay, so I found this data. I assume this is for women in the USA, but so the idea is that the heights of women aged 20 to 29 are approximately normal with a mean of 64 inches and a standard deviation of 2.7 inches. We want to know what proportion of women are less than 70 inches tall. And here I say, you know, proportion of women. And just to be clear, I'm talking about women aged 20 to 29. So we want to figure out what proportion of women are less than 70 inches tall, knowing that the average height is 64 inches with a standard deviation of 2.7 inches. So I'm going to label, I'm going to let x be the, the height of a woman, again aged 20 to 29, so somebody in that age bracket. We want to find the proportion of women we want to find the proportion of women satisfying the following. Well, we want their height to be less than 70 inches. Well, the idea is now all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a, uh, a standardized variable. And I'm going to do that simply by subtracting the mean and dividing by the standard deviation. OK, so I'm going to subtract the mean. So we said the mean was 64 inches. So there's my mean, and I'm going to divide by the standard deviation, which is 2.7. So again, this is just the mean, and this 2.7, that was my sigma, which is the standard deviation. And I've got to do the same thing to the right side as well. So on the left side, I subtracted 64 and divided by 2.7. So on the right side, I'm going to take 70 minus 64 and also divide by 2.7. And if you do the arithmetic on the right side, 70 minus uh, 64 divided by 2.7, I'm getting that to be 2.22. And on the left side now, since I've now standardized that, I'm simply going to write that as, as z. And now I'm just going to read off this value from my table. Okay. So the idea is we have, this is our normal distribution with mean of 0 and standard deviation of 1. Depending on the table you use, they can sometimes tell you um, so, I guess I should say different, different tables are set up differently. So in this case, what we're going to get is we're going to get a, when we read off our z-score, it's going to tell us the area underneath the curve to the left of that z-score. And that corresponds to the probability. So I'm going to find the z-score of 2.22. 
So on the left side, I start by going down to 2.2. So there's 2.2. And now at the top, it's telling me 0 0.00, 0 0.01, 0 0.02. So if I go over to the third column, that's going to co correspond to the Z value of 2.2. And then if we add on 0 0.02, that's going to correspond to 2.22. So that value right there, if you can see it, that's going to be 0 0.9868. So here's my Z value of 2.22. If I look to the left of that, if I look at the area underneath the curve, the area underneath that curve is going to equal point, where'd it go? Let me see it, 0.9868. And that tells us our corresponding probability. Okay, So the area is the same thing as the probability. So it says the probability that a female is less than 70 inches tall, it says that's going to occur, or the proportion of women, I guess let me state it how I said it earlier. So the proportion of women who are less than 70 inches is going to equal 98.68%. So again, I'm just converting my decimal, 0.9868, into a percentage. And I'm doing that just by moving the decimal place uh, two places to the right. So it says, according to our, our um, original data and our normalized uh, z-score, it says that 98.68% of women are going to be less than 70 inches tall.